Hi guys, in this video and in this series of text function videos in Excel, we're treating all these text functions in isolation and then building up to a point where we're going to combine them. And that's coming really soon into one very practical application. Okay? In this one, we're talking about the search function. The search function search, searches for a character or a text string from left to right and finds the first instance of that text string or character in a text in, in a particular cell. So let's use an example that we've been similar to what we've been using all along. And that is this first column A, which is last name and first name. Well, if we want to ask the question, where is the first space in this text string? This guy right here and this guy. Well, the way we can answer that question is by using the search function. Equals search. And first argument is, what do you want to find? Well, we want to find the space. So whenever you want to use, have a space, use quotations and put a space in between them. Comma, where do you want to find it? And we want to look in column A5, in cell A5. So it's going to look for the first space in cell A5 and tell us the, the position of that space. And it tells us 6. Now let's drag this down and analyze what we got so we can fully understand it. So 6, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Space is at the 6th position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the space, and let's just jump to the last one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then the space is 8, and that corresponds to exactly what we got here, okay? Now, where, next question we might want to ask is, where is the first letter A? Well, let's do search again, and we put A in quotes. And by the way, this search function is not case sensitive, so you'll see it'll, it'll work for uppercase and lowercase a's. And uh, comma, where we want to search. Well, again, we want to search cell A5. Well, look, there's no letter A in SWIC Mike, so we get an error message. Let's drag this down. Close, uh, A appears on the 10th, first appears on the 10th, uh, position in the tenth position. A appears in the eighth position here. A first appears in the second position. And even though it appears again towards the end, search only returns the first uh, instance of what we're searching for, which is A. And again, they have a lot of A's in this name. And it's going to find the first one, which is position two. Okay? Finally, where is the first Mike. Okay, so we want to actually now search for more than just a, one character, a space or a letter. We want to actually search for an entire name. And I'll show you that the case that this function is also not case sensitive by typing in in quotes Mike without capitalizing it and then telling Excel to search in cell A5. Now we expect it to find Mike in the seventh position, I believe. And that's what it does, right? Because Mike starts after the space, and up to the space it was six, as we learned here in the first column we did. And Mike actually starts in seven. Okay? And we could drag this down, and we'll probably get error messages, right, for everything else. Because there is no Mike in these. But I can modify these. I can write here. I can write. Mic without even putting a space, and Excel will be able to pick that mic out in this text string and give us the position that that text string starts, which is one, two, three, four. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. The search function becomes very useful, especially when nested with other text functions. And as we're going to finally see in the next video. All these functions are going to come together. The left function, the right function, the length function, the search function, the isNumber function even may come, to come into that video. And we're going to learn 
how to split the contents of this cell, last name, space, first name, into two separate cells, one being the first name of the individual and the other being the last name, actually the opposite, the last name then the first name, okay? And Excel, the function we, we will build will uh, take into account really long first and last names, really short ones and everything in between. It'll be a robust function. So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorial videos. Click on our sponsor's ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.